walking through Nyakasura school, I saw something very interesting. This signpost over here, it says patriotism class. And I became curious, what is this? Bro, I have seen something, I'm very interested in it. It says patriotism club, is what? Patriotism club. Yeah. Yeah, those are one of the, it is one of the clubs that we have. And that one mainly um, emphasizes on nature and the love for the country. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is in partnership with, with Let's keep working. Scouts Club. Your chairman has an exams, right? Yeah. I come in now, it's left me and you. Let's yeah. vibe. He was talking about patriotism club. Yeah. What do you people do? Uh, that, like uh, every evening we have that club. There is someone who leads them. They always, as you, he has told you that it is a love, it is a club that shows a feeling and a strong passion for the country. Mm. So it means that every evening they train, they teach children how they are supposed to treat others fairly. For example, hey. equality, fraternity, and everything that is concerned with about love for the country. In this school? Yeah. See, going through the schools, this, what's, what's, what's the name again? Maggie. What Maggie said has been one of my wish, my aspiration, something I have always wished to see in a secondary school or in a school or in a senior high school. Yeah. Deliberately making a decision to teach people how to be patriotic. It doesn't happen in, in our school system. I don't know about the Central Africa or the, uh, the Southern Africa, West Africa. I've not seen anything like that over there. East Africa, I've visited a few schools. I have not seen anything, but here in this school, the authorities of this school have made a deliberate decision to teach the student how to be patriotic yeah. because of the country and this continent. This is something that is worth emulating. Give me a high five. So this is a very good initiative that is being championed by the headmaster of the school, Reverend Belinda Richardson. Ha, I cannot appreciate you for the good thoughts you have for the school, you have for your country and the continent at large now why is this thing so important this is so important because the face we are on our continent this our continent right now in africa just like um um uh, najikai said from uh Fantiman girls i feel like i feel like looking at the leaders we produce they don't understand that what we enjoy right now as africans is what our forefathers purchased purchased with their blood they don't understand that we have to make those sacrifices our forefathers made for posterity. They do leaders leaders do not understand that they need to make sacrifice for posterity. They don't understand that the good things we enjoy today on this continent, they were things that were purchased for us by the blood of some people who first, they saw us coming. And they, they made those sacrifices for us. But they do not the ones that we have now kind of don't understand that they need to make the same sacrifices for posterity. So it has become really hard for the continent to grow all because of what you say, selfishness in quotes. So it is very important that patriotism should be taught, deliberately taught to students. Even the human life ought to be taught. People need to be taught how to live the human, how to be considerate, how to be empathetic, how to how to live the human life and this is what reverend belinda richardson is doing in yakasura school he's not doing that with just the school in mind but the continent the country and the continent at large yes this is something that is worth emulating i mean wherever you're watching this video from especially if um you are a person who is in charge of an institution like a school institution even a church and all that and i believe if we do that it's going to go a long way to change the leadership that we have in the next hundred years to come, possibly.